Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about new season luxury. There are so many amazing new arrivals for spring summer. I don't remember the last time I was this excited about an upcoming season because all the designs coming out are just so incredibly beautiful. So today's video is kind of a hybrid one. I'm showing you some new pieces that I got already, as well as some items that are on my wish list, basically doing a roundup of what I think are the best items for spring summer. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being sponsored by my Teresa, who definitely inspired this video. Checking their new arrivals every morning is absolutely a guilty pleasure of mine. And they have so many amazing new pieces. They always merchandise them so well as well but I always want absolutely everything and everything that I'm featuring here today from my haul items to the wishlist pieces are available from mytrees.com so I will include links to everything in the description section if you did want to check anything out. So first up are a pair of Valentino shoes and I have had my eye on these for so so long. I was hesitating to pull the trigger because they are very very expensive um, but then I saw them in person and I was like oh my goodness like I need those in my life and definitely more statement making I'd say um, and this is kind of like an evolution from their original Rockstead line but I just think these are gorgeous and um, they come in the Valentino box I always love it and I don't know if this is just me but I always love it when the tissue paper is printed with the logo I just feel like the attention to detail makes it so special I feel like I'm probably the only one that cares about that but I do really like it we have the dust bag right there so you get two dust bags so one for each shoe with the Valentino logo right there And then inside you have these beautiful, beautiful sandals. So these are the kind of chunkier rock stud lines. So similar to my Roman stud bag, um, it features the much chunkier studs, which I just love. And I know these aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I adore them. I think they are so cool looking. I feel like it makes the entire shoe just feel so fresh and modern. This one has um, a fairly high heel, but it is a block heel. So these are actually surprisingly comfortable. You do have a buckle strap right there. And apart from that, it's just a t-bar sandal so it's pretty simple and um, it is a nude color so I do think they do these in a few different colors but I always love the Valentino nude color I feel like it's the perfect perfect nude it's very pretty very easy to wear it just seems to go with everything and I just adore these I think they are so lovely and when I first thought about getting them I did wonder if it would be kind of doubling up because I do already have um, a lower heeled version in the original line so with the much smaller studs but I feel like this does look like a completely different shoe I don't feel like it's too similar at all and for me it just makes such a statement I feel like it's gonna go great with some addresses with shorts and I feel like this is probably the edge of what I would do in terms of a proper statement shoe but the fact that it is still a nude color I hope means that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of it so I am thrilled to bits of these um, they were definitely pricey but I just think they are so beautiful and I just absolutely love the detailing on them Next up is another pair of shoes, and these aren't particularly summery, um, but they are kind of new arrivals for the new season. I already own these in another colour, and I absolutely love the style, so I already know that the overall shoe really works. So you have the tissue paper and the Jambuto Roxy dust bag. So here is the shoe. It is another one of their block heeled pumps. So this one is in the suede again. I absolutely love their suede pumps. They are so much more comfortable than painted leather or regular leather because they really do mold to your feet. And even though I kind of used to think of suede as more of like an autumn winter kind of material, I wear my suede pumps all year round and I just find them fantastic and not overly high maintenance either. So I'm a huge fan of suede um, just purely for the comfort factor. I think they're amazing. And the block heel is just such a favorite design of mine. I love the fact that you do have that height boost, but at the same time, it's very stable. And I also just love the look of them as well. I feel like they kind of anchor your outfit in a way that a stiletto doesn't. And I just think the whole shoe is absolutely gorgeous. And um, so these ones are obviously in the black. I do also own them in the kind of um, like darker nude color, like a tan color. And I wear those all the time. I have those in both the stiletto version and the block heel version. I didn't know at the time whether I would get enough use out of both of them, but I absolutely do. I just kind of rotate between them and I just think they're fantastic. And when I saw they released them in black, I jumped on them. I've been trying to get hold of the stiletto version in the black for a really long time. Didn't think that they were going to release them in the block heel. And I saw they did and I'm just so, so happy about it. So I already know that I'm just going to get a ton of use out of these. Um, I've had some of the shoes in the past. I love the style. I find it very, very comfortable. And I just think it's the best shoe. Like, would absolutely recommend and yeah. 
just over the moon with these. I think they are so great, so comfortable, and just such a wonderfully classic shoe. And I did quickly want to mention that I was lucky enough to get these at a discount, which is amazing because, to be honest, I would have happily paid full price for these. Um, but it was a loyalty discount, which is nothing to do with YouTube. But I have been a very, very long time customer of my Teresa way before I was started doing YouTube as well. So. I think it's probably going on almost 10 years, so pretty much a full decade of me shopping with my Teresa. So I do have a very long purchase history with them. I shop with them a lot. And because of that, occasionally I will get access to private sales and loyalty discounts. I also get access to new arrivals before everyone else. And for me, that really kind of demonstrates the importance of being a little bit strategic with how you do online shopping. If you do do a lot of online shopping in the luxury space, obviously if you mix and match between in-person and online, it's a bit different. Um, but if you do most of your shopping online and you are a luxury shopper, I would always say it's worthwhile to be a little bit strategic if you can, just because then you will get access to lots of perks that you otherwise wouldn't have if you do spread your purchases around. And my trees are great for that for all the reasons you know I just mentioned. You know, they're not always kind of constant or really go by schedule, but you will get access to private sales before everyone else, early access to the general sale as well, um, loyalty discounts every now and then, you always get access to new arrivals. So definitely worthwhile if you can pick kind of one or two retailers just to be a little bit more strategic so you do get the maximum benefit out of your shopping. Next up is a new bag and I am so incredibly excited about this. So it is from Saint Laurent, one of my favorite brands. Um, and this one is, I believe the actual kind of overall line has been around a while, but I think this is a new size. I know because one, I've been looking for this kind of size and style from Saint Laurent for a while, tried a few different ones um, and hope that they would come out with something like this, which they finally have. And also I tried the large size and I didn't like it. So if they'd had a smaller size before, I would have known, um, but I think this is a new arrival and I think it's fantastic. So it is basically a black little mini bag. So it is this absolutely adorable little black mini style with the gold hardware. So I have been looking for not a replacement because my Chanel mini is not going anywhere. Um, I'm talking about my square one here, but I have definitely stopped using that one as much because I know it's pretty much irreplaceable at this point. So I wanted something to fill that void because I love wearing that bag so much. I very much hope that Saint Laurent would come out with something to kind of, again, not replace it, but really fill that space in my bag wardrobe. Um, and then I saw this and I just thought it was totally perfect. It is so, so beautiful. So you do have the YSL logo right there and it took me a second to figure out how to open it. Um, so you actually just pull the little L right there and then it flips open. And then on the inside, you have all the tissue paper. And it's very similar indeed to the Chanel Square Mini, if you're familiar with that. But it's a wide open space. It is lined in leather, even though the outside is a fabric. And then you have one pocket right there on the back. It's not a zip pocket, so it is just an easy access one. And then it just fastens like so, so it just kind of clips into place there. I really love the design. I think it's really unusual. Again, it took me a second because I was like pulling it and I was trying to turn things, but it is just that lower part of the L, really, really clever. And then on the back, it is just completely plain and there is a decent amount of structure. So as I mentioned, this is a fabric one. So um, it's not like a tweed, it is more of like, I know it's kind of difficult to describe. Um, maybe it's like a wool blend, but it's not, it doesn't feel overly wintry. So like their tweed style bags do feel a little bit more appropriate for um, autumn, winter. Whereas this feels neutral enough that you can wear it all year round. So not really seasonally specific. You do have the chain which you can double up, which I love. So you can wear it just on the shoulder doubled up if you want to. But you can also wear it as a crossbody as well. And I just think this is fantastic. I am so, so excited about it. Um, I did try the larger Jamie style from them before. I wasn't really overwhelmed. I didn't love it that much, um, but in the smaller size, I just think it's perfect. Um, it has a nice amount of structure to it. It fits a decent amount, obviously a mini bag, um, but certainly all my essentials. Has that great classic YSL logo on the front there. And I just think it's perfect. Um, so I'm very happy they finally came out with a mini style in this bag. And yeah, very, very happy that I have something with this look and feel that I'm not scared to use in my bag collection. And now on to the wishlist portion of the video. And I'm not gonna lie, the vast majority of these are handbags. There is one pair of shoes here, but the vast majority are bags. The first item on my list, and this is kind of by far my biggest wishlist item because 
I just love it so much. Um, it's a bag from the brand Alaya, and I'm not overly familiar with their leather goods. I'm mainly familiar with the brand um, because of their cut art dresses, and also because I was a huge fan of the film Clueless growing up, and the main character in that film references an Alaya dress. So that was pretty much my first introduction to the brand. I'm not familiar with their leather goods so much, but I saw this style and I just thought it was the prettiest, prettiest thing. So it's this kind of um, cutout detail bag. So it is leather, but it has this beautiful cutout design. And I know they do off these in like larger tote bag styles, which I have looked at in the past, um, but to be honest, it never really appealed to me because I didn't want to spend that much money on something that was that large and had that see-through effect. But for some reason, I don't mind the see-through effect as much with a smaller bag, just because I guess you just can't see as many items when you don't have that many items in the bag. But I think it's absolutely beautiful and the biggest selling point for me is the colour. This lilac lavender shade is so pretty, I think it's so perfect for spring summer. A really nice alternative to baby pink as well. And I just think it's the loveliest, loveliest thing. You can carry this one with the top handle, but you can also carry it with the kind of full length strap as well. So you can choose whether to wear it in the hand or cross body. So there are a few different options. I love the color so much. I definitely feel like lavender lilac bags are a thing at the moment. I know I was looking at Bottega's new arrivals as well, and they've done pretty much their whole line in this beautiful lilac shade. They have the paddock cassette, they have the mini Jody in this suede lilac as well. And they've also released their kind of regular cassette in a new mini size, which is just the most adorable thing, also in the lilac color. So I am all about this shade. I think it's so incredibly pretty and just so perfect for spring summer. Next up is a slightly newer style. I don't think this is new to this season, um, but I think this colorway in this style is. Um, so this is a little pouch from Christian Louboutin, and I did look at the original version of this. I think it was last year. Um, so they do like a white pouch with the red um, kind of bottom, so really mimicking the Louboutin shoes. And I did really like the design of it, but I felt like the red contrasting with the white was just a little bit loud for my personal style. Um, so I kind of left it there but then I saw this in the new arrival section and I just think it's beautiful it's a really really pretty pale pink and the design is actually a perforated um, print so you have the print embossed into the leather so again you have that kind of double layered peekaboo effect but doesn't show all the way through it is super pretty you have this double chain as well it is a pochette so it isn't like a massive bag at all but I think this is the loveliest thing I've never tried Christian Louboutin leather goods either um, but I think this is so stunning. I'm very familiar with their shoes and they are beautiful quality, even if they're not the most comfortable in the world. Um, I'm not as familiar with their leather goods. So I don't know if they're really good quality with their bags as well, but the one I saw looked to be really nice in terms of the leather. I just thought this was the prettiest design. So this is another one which I absolutely love. I love the color. I love the overall look and I just think it's the prettiest, prettiest combination. Next up is the Marc Jacobs mini tote. And I'm a huge fan of this line of bags. I bought um, my tote, I think it was, I think it's three years ago now, so it's been a little while. And to be honest, I was thinking about buying a replacement because I like lent it to my mum and she's just never given it back. Um, and she loves it as well. So I was like, that's fine. I'll just get a replacement. Um, they really are just so fantastically useful because they are so strong, like pretty much indestructible. But I have seen that they've really expanded the line and released many, many more sizes as well. So the one I'm looking at in particular is the mini one. So this is the smaller one, which you can wear crossbody. And to be honest, I had seen it online before and I wasn't really convinced. But when I was in LA, I feel like it was such a common bag. I saw it all the time. And so many ladies are wearing them as like crossbody. So the mini style, which is still fairly substantial, like it's not a massively small bag. Bag, and we're wearing it cross body really casually. I just thought it looked great. Really, really cool looking, very functional as well. Um, I imagine they're just as strong as the larger versions. And I really, really like the design. My only concern is the structure. Um, I'm not sure if, because it isn't overly rigid in terms of the main body, I don't know if it's gonna get really slouchy with time and if that's gonna bother me. So if you own this one, particularly in the canvas versions, um, definitely please let me know your thoughts and how it's getting along in terms of wear and tear. But I think this is such a great little bag. I love all the different iterations and the mini one has just completely convinced me with all the different ways I saw it styled. Next up is the one lone pair of shoes on this list, um, but it is the Jimmy Choo Bing Heels, and I'm gonna try not to go completely crazy with the Bing line, but 
I just really, really love it. It is so expensive and I really wish it was cheaper, but it is the most stunning line of shoes and they've been expanding them more and more, I guess, because they're so popular. So they've released a lace version and I've always wanted just a kind of plain lace pump. I know Manolo Blahnik do them and Jimmy Choo do a version as well, but they basically converted that plain pump into the Bing style. So you have the black lace on the front and then you have this sparkly detail around the strap bit. I just think these are beautiful, like so, so stunning. I'm always a sucker for lace anyway, and I'm just obsessed with this combination. So this is definitely one I have my wish list. As soon as I saw them, I literally gasped. I think they're so beautiful. The Bing line in general is fantastic though. I love mine to bits, and I think this new combination is just out of this world beautiful. And then finally, the very last bag on my list, and honestly, this bag wasn't even on my radar until I saw one particular photo of Kate Hudson wearing this fantastic outfit. So I think it was probably head to toe Valentino, but she was wearing this um, purple shift dress and then had a matching purple Valentino bag. I believe this one's called the stud sign, um, and she just looked fantastic. And as soon as I saw that photo, I was like, what is that bag? It looks so good. And um, so I kind of been eyeing up the design ever since and I just think it's so beautiful. So a pretty classic um, design and one that I typically go for. It's just a flat bag, so you do have the V Valentino logo on the front, and then you do have the stud detail on the strap, and you can choose to wear it kind of long ways, or you can double it up as well. So really flexible again, and it comes in so many beautiful colors. I would probably go for like the black or the white, um, just because I'm not sure that I would get a lot of use out of like the orange or the purple, but I do think that it's stunning. The only thing holding me back from this one is that I have seen some display models in store and the leather does look a little bit scratched and scuffed up. So for something that's so expensive, that's what's making me pause. Um, but I do think it's absolutely beautiful. And I do revisit that photo a lot and it just makes me fall in love with the bag all over again. I just think the styling is fantastic. So that is it for this video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured and talked about in the description section. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment and let me know in the comment section what's on your wish list for the upcoming season. I would love to hear about it and possibly get even more inspiration as well. As always, thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Stuck upside down